First on this list, Night Swim. Expected release date January 5th, 2024. I don't know why, but I get vibes of The Lady in the Water from this film. Directed by Bryce McGuire, the director for the short film Every House is Haunted, Bryce steps into the spotlight starting off 2024 with a highly anticipated horror film of his own. I genuinely have high hopes for this film. The trailer builds excellent suspense, playing off of the Marco Polo game we all enjoyed as kids. It's not easy directing a hit movie, let alone a hit horror movie, and everyone is waiting with bated breath to see what 2024 has in store and what our frontrunner, Night Swim, has to offer. Next up, Return to Silent Hill. Expected release date, April 26, 2024. Yes, that's all I have to say to that. Yes. Directed by Christoph Gantz, this film has fans of the iconic Silent Hill franchise excited, and justifiably so. A while ago, there was a game called PT that had every horror fan, except for me because I didn't know what it was at the time, jumping at the opportunity to pre-order and purchase this next addition to the Silent Hill family. However, it would be more like the biggest tease in gaming history because for one reason or another, I think there were rumors of quote unquote creative differences. This game wouldn't make it out of the early gameplay phase and has since been removed from ever being able to be played again. All that nonsense aside, Return to Silent Hill has big shoes to fill. With a fan base as large as theirs, I hope the directors, writers, etc. know what they are getting into. Next up, A Quiet Place Day 1. Expected release date June 28th, 2024. Directed by Michael Sarnowski. This film, as stated by Paramount, is not a continuation to the film A Quiet Place 2 and is more of a spin off. Think The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. Maybe. I don't know. I stopped watching after Glenn got beat to death. I personally liked the Quiet Place films. The monsters were definitely unique. And that scene with the dad still hits home to this day. The good part about this being a spinoff is if it doesn't do so well, they can kind of just write it off without any damage to the main story. Maybe all franchises should do this, right? I mean, there's no downside to it. Is there? Uh, next on this list, Alien Romulus. Expected release date, August 16th, 2024. Directed by Fede Alvarez, this is probably my most anticipated film for all of 2024. Don't get me wrong, I have high expectations for each one of the movies on this list, but another alien movie has been prescribed by my physician, so gotta follow the doctor's orders. If you watch some of my other videos, you might remember how I really try to avoid alien-themed horror movies because of childhood trauma. But the Alien franchise has always been the exception to that. Lots of people are gritting their teeth with their fingers crossed, hoping that Disney delivers on a genre of film they vehemently avoid for brand recognition reasons. What do you think? Were Morbius, Doctor Strange, Multiverse Madness, or Haunted House good horror movies? Don't ask me that question, because this video is not long enough for me to go into how disappointed I was. Uh, last on this list is going to be Smile 2. Expected release date September 27th, 2024. Directed by Parker Finn, Paramount Studios doubles down on probably the biggest surprise success movie of 2022. With a production budget of $17 million, Smile made approximately 12 times that, raking in a whopping $217 million worldwide. It makes sense why Paramount would greenlight a sequel. What Smile lacked in an established fan base, they made up for in jaw-dropping theatrics and unpredictable storytelling. Remember the birthday gift? Yeah, yeah you do. That scene pretty much summed up Smile's performance overall. Now, do I think they will be able to recreate that same response? Probably not, but they did solidify themselves as a decent horror film, so maybe. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like it. Take care, guys. Bye.